In the last part of the limiting probability video,、uh, we're gonna learn two new、uh, term. The first one is called、uh, stationary probabilities. The stationary probability has a meaning of if we have the initial distribution and、uh, we let it run、uh, for any time, okay, this distribution won't change. To see this, all right, we simply let this、uh, stationary probability、uh, to be considered. Our initial distribution, of、um, this Markov chain, being the long run proportion. That is、uh, the initial distribution. Originally, we use alpha j. Now we simply let We set this distribution to be our long run proportion. And、uh, for j is zero,、uh, one, two, and then we can prove that for any n later, the probability. Of this Markov chain, at a later、uh, time, that is、uh, for any n is、uh, greater than or equal to one, x n is j is still this pi j. And you guys can see why it is called stationary because once we set our initial condition, or、we'll、say the initial distribution to be this probability, then however time、uh, we let this Markov chain run. We're still getting this distribution, and the proof is uh, uh, very straightforward. It's by、uh, induction.、Um, it is、uh, assume、um, it's true for.、Um, Apparently, we can first verify the first hypothesis, which is when、uh, n equals one.、Uh, we can verify that、uh, x one is j is nothing but a summation of i given x zero is i multiply with Uh, the probability of、uh, zero is i, and、uh, x one is j, and the summation of all i. Because we have our assumption, which is a、uh, this is a、uh, pi sub i, and this is、uh, the transition probability, which is from i to j. And then this is nothing but sum of i p sub i j times、um, pi i. By theorem 4.1, this is nothing but pi j. As we can see,、um, the probability distribution、uh, won't change、uh, when we proceed. And now, assume when n equals k is true. Okay. And、uh, when n equals k plus one, and we obtain a very similar、uh, relationship that is、uh, same thing. And by induction hypotheses, this is nothing but、uh, pi i. 
And again, this is our transition probability. Then we will obtain the same formula exactly as here. And we're done. In the last part of uh, limiting probability, uh, we'll learn uh, periodicity um, and uh, ergodicity. And what does this mean? We, we, we kind of motivate from uh, this formula right here. We have this stationary probability um, which are pi j's right here. And the natural question to ask, if we don't start at uh, the stationary probability, which is our uh, long run proportions, what happens if we let this market chain run for a long, long time? Um, let me first write down. First one is the we let this market chain run for a long, long time. What happens of this transition probability when n goes to infinity? First, we notice i is our initial state. And the J is a state uh, we ended up in. Um, what happens is uh, if we let this markup chain run for a long, long time, the probability of this markup chain entering the state should be in by intuition, all right, should be pi j, which is a long run proportion of uh, um, how much time uh, we are in state j. This is intuition, all right. And we'll see that this may not be um, true if we have uh, the following uh, markup chain. So, a counter example. That is, uh, we consider the following anti-symmetric uh, matrix. That is, uh, um, 0, 1, and 1, 0. And what happens is, uh, uh, let me draw the diagram of uh, the state. We have 1, um, we have 0. Uh, when we are at uh, state 0, we have probability 1 to enter state 1. And when we are at state 1, we have probability 1 return to 0. And apparently, in the long run, okay, the only uh, Randomness in this markup chain is initial state is in zero or one, and otherwise it's a deterministic process because if we are in zero, it's probability one of entering one in the next state, and vice versa, which means the long run proportion of both states are nothing but uh, one half. Okay. Simply because uh, uh, this uh, uh, stochastic processes, the only randomness is the initial state. And uh, it doesn't ma matter that much in the long run. And if we write on the transition probability, for example, uh, from uh, um, 0 to 0, um, in n step, we we can see that this is uh, simply an alternating series. It doesn't converge to any limit because if we start 
uh, from zero, and uh, if we experience an uh, odd number of steps, for example, if we experience one single step, we have probability one of entering state one, and that means when n is odd number, we have zero chance of staying at uh, state zero. And similarly, when n is even, we have probability one of of returning uh, this state, and we can see that this is a this is an alternating series, and it doesn't have a limit. The new definition here, uh, we uh, uh, learned that so we define the following thing. That is, um, if a markup chain can only return to a state in a multiple of d steps where this d is uh, strictly greater than one number then this uh, markup chain is called uh, periodic And uh, from previous reasoning, we'll see in this example, uh, it doesn't have, and it does not have any limiting probabilities. Lastly, we have a new definition that is. Uh, Aperiodic. We have if a markup chain is irreducible, means we only have one class. The second one is positive recurrent. So no states uh, is transient. And most importantly, aperiodic. It means it's not a periodic um, this process. It means for any of the state, uh, we cannot expect this markup chain returns to this state for a fixed number of steps every like uh, d steps, All right? Then uh, this markup chain is called a gothic. Is a gothic. For an ergodic markup chain, um, the derivation we showed uh, in previous video can be um, like formally addressed. That is. Uh, In previous video, we let n goes to infinity, and we reach naturally um, our equation in um, theorem 4.1. However, uh, we hide a condition over there. It's because we assume the limit exists in the first place. All right. And what guarantees the limit exists is this aperiodicity. 
In order that the limit exists, this Markov chain has to be、uh, aperiodic. Otherwise, otherwise we'll have this alternating series, and the limit doesn't exist. And now, if we let uh, uh, n goes to infinity,、um, this one right here、uh, will converge to pi j, and this is our、uh, transition probability from i to j. And lastly, if we let、uh, um, n goes to infinity, this one is our pi i as well. And、uh, we're back、uh, to the equation of uh, four, uh, theorem four point one. Where this uh, uh, pi i is equal to the probability of、uh, the limit of the probability when n goes to infinity of、uh, x, n is i.